nominated by her husband, Sal Puglisi. My wife was working on August 4th, 2012. My wife has been a firefighter and EMT since 2008. On this particular day, she was driving a critical patient to the hospital. The patient, three medics, and her partner were all in the back. My wife entered an intersection on a green light. Safety has always been big with my wife, so she was being very careful, even though she had the right of way. As she was crossing an empty lane on the northbound side of the intersection, she spotted a car traveling at a high rate of speed. The projection of the car was later measured to speculate what would have happened if it had hit the back of the ambulance. The test concluded that the other driver was in excess of 80 to 90 miles per hour. Backs of ambulances are made of fiberglass. The crew in the back had no protection. That is when my wife did something selfless. She turned the ambulance so the impact would hit the cab of the ambulance, breaking her back in the process. Her crew all survived with minor injuries. The other driver had a broken leg and arm. She got out of the ambulance and tended to the other driver after calling for another ambulance to transfer the patient. Everyone survived. My wife is a true survivor. She was told a month after the accident she would never return to the EMS field. At first she was devastated, then something just clicked inside of her. She wasn't going to accept that fate. Doctor after doctor, she rebuilt herself. After nine months of intense therapy, she was back. She continues to amaze me every day. Her career is not as easy as it was before the accident, but she doesn't complain. She stands among her brothers and sisters as a testament to them all that nothing is impossible. Lady Christian Jackson Publisi. In the name of God, St. George, St. Michael, Sir Jacob, and Sir Joshua, rise, Lady Kristen, turn and face your people.